Thanks for stopping by our showroom. We're gonna start in the attached saucer area. The attached saucers come in a variety of textures as well as colors. Um, we used to sell these in a set of three or a set of two, but now you can buy them depending on what size you need. So if you need only the B size, then you can order just the B size. Um, or if you need just the C size, you can order just the C size. Um, so they're not sold in sets, and we've got several different types. The smooth finishes, some with texture like the lattice printer, uh, the lattice printer, um, or the goblet, which is smooth but has different two-tone color variation. Then we've got the modern planters down here, the vino planter. Um, and then if you come over here, there's a little bit more color variety in the Zargoza planter, the eggplant, and the Henry planter. Um, all of these are in your catalog, on our app, on our website. If we move over here, this is the indoor section, um, what we consider indoor pots. Um, we have our Avenue collection that has a smooth polished concrete finish. It's a very good price point for these items. For instance, you know, this little one here, it's a little bit over $33 per case um, and you get 24 in a case so it's a good value for what you know you get in the case with the Avenue we have some rough concrete finishes but the best sellers have been the polished concrete finishes for us over here you'll see the veranda mix sets uh, these have been hot for us since we introduced them I mean, we started with this as a color sample paint chip and people kept asking about them. And then all of a sudden we start selling them and selling different shapes. So it started with 1513, uh, that's the number for it. But we also have different shapes and you get 12 in a case, uh, most of them two different colors, um, six different colors. So you'll get two of this in a case. Then we've got the finger pots. This one has been a good seller. And then this is one of the more uh, newer of the veranda mix sets that we just added last year. It comes in this full color and it also has a drip color where there will be color on the top and a natural finish down below. Uh, we'll see that in just a second. This is our Laguna collection in espresso and ember. Um, these are more natural finishes. A lot of customers do well with this when they aren't looking for something that's glazed and colorful. Uh, we've had this collection for a while and it continues to be a bestseller for us. Over here, we've got some of our bonsai pots. Um, this is the newest bonsai pot. It actually is a tray that can be used for succulents as well as bonsai pots and it comes in a set of three. Um, but these are some of the more classic bonsai offerings that we've done. Uh, we also sell saucers, uh, so veranda, um, is primarily our go-to for saucers, but LeBeau and Chelsea have saucers as well. Uh, these are just going to give you a little bit better value and price point. We have self-watering pots for African violets, uh, where you actually, you know, put the water in here, put the pot down low, and then it drinks up what it needs. Um, that will also be in the catalog. And these are our orchid pots. Um, some of these we still have on hand. The square is being discontinued, but we will sell what we currently have. And these are some of the others. Uh, for some of our distributor customers, we actually stock indoor pots at their warehouses. So you'll be able to place small reorders uh, with your distributor, but you'd have to contact them for uh, more information. We have several different styles of indoor pots. Some are more classic shape, like 1620, uh, 50, 60, and these are just item numbers. And then we have more of the modern feel with the two-tone colors uh, that are listed here. We're showing here. This is the Miranda mix set that has the drippy colors. It's one of the newer ones. And this is also, you know, replicated in a bowl for us, as well as this small tapered pot. Uh, you have some of our bowl collections here, the beet bowl, uh, the cherry blossom bowl, and then we get into what's kind of a mix between an indoor pot and an attached saucer pot or house. We should also point out Palm Springs. Um, it's one of our big hits in the last few years. We introduced Palm Springs a little over a year ago, um, and we can not keep it soft. I mean, we have a lot of inventory now, 
but people are always calling um, to see if we have more Palm Springs available. It comes now in a detached saucer, um, or with a detached saucer, and it even has a plug at the bottom for a drain hole. And it comes in the small cube, then the larger cube. Uh, these are new for 2020. Uh, these we had last year, they come in different sizes, the small, medium, and large size, and they have an attached saucer. They come in the matte white, and they also come in matte gray uh, in cylinders as well as the cube. This is also um, part of the Palm Springs collection. These are sample colors, the blue and the pink. Moving forward for 2020, we're going to carry the matte gray, matte white, and matte black as well as glossy black and glossy white and i think glossy gray as well but these are just the samples that we have on hand um, this is part of the mixed uh, palm springs collection any of these are going to come 12 to a case and you're going to get two of each color so it's kind of a um, pastel color palette but they really pop on a shelf we've been doing really well with these um, i like these these are over here are sample pieces that we have in. Um, they came in January of 2020, and we expect to see more. We call it the crayon collection because of the bright colors. They're the small cylinder shapes as well as the tapered shapes, all sets of three, um, and they're in the $28 to $30 range for the set. Notting Hill uh, it has been a big seller for us because of the price point as well as the look because we don't really have anything that looks quite like this. The moss finish that you see is actually done in a rice field. These pots are buried and aged in a rice field and you get that texture and that look over time. We have the redstone finish as well as the blackstone finish and many of these are overlapping sets. For instance, this could be a set of three, and then you might have this as a set of two. But this particular pot in a set of three, for $54, you would get 24 sets. So, you know, that's a little bit over $2 per set. So it's a really good price point for Notting Hill. Uh, so we expect big things from Notting Hill in years to come. This is our Chelsea Noir collection. It's uh, a new collection for Chelsea for us in smaller pots. We usually do medium and large size pots in Chelsea. So I'm excited to see this variety of pot, um, something smaller that's still heavy Vietnamese pottery um, with a great look to it. It comes in the charcoal color finish, the matte turquoise, dark brown, which is very similar to charcoal, but it has a, you know, a little bit different. It is dark brown. And then we have white. And it comes in not only these styles, but the styles that we'll see down here. Um, this is just some of the veranda mix sets that we have shown on a succulent table, just to give people an idea of how they could merchandise these type of pots. The idea is that you have your succulents underneath, still able to get sun, still able to be watered, but then you can also merchandise this so your customers aren't looking for the pot that would match a second link, they could pick it up right there. These are some of our bird baths that we have here in the veranda line. Um, some of the best sellers that we've had for quite a while are the Vici bird baths that come in different colors with the silver bases. But this year we've introduced some smaller bird baths with different textures. There's the vortex that looks like a ripple at the top the swanee that's mimicking our swanee planter um, and then even the checkerboard finish here um, is one of the new ones that we have and if we continue on you'll see the other pots in the chelsea noir collection just broken up a little bit from those bird baths so the same colors the charcoal matte turquoise white and dark brown but you'll also see gnm which is our green metallic color um, that is available not in every style in Chelsea Noir, but quite a few of them. If we move down to the sh this area of the showroom, we're still in the Chelsea Garden section, but we're going to be showcasing the pots by color. So this is a little bit of what we have to offer in Bahama Sea. It's in the blue family with a little bit of green. Uh, falling blue, which you'll see in Chelsea, Veranda, and LeBeau. 
Um, and then GNM, this is green metallic. And depending on the pot, sometimes you'll see it comes a little darker and it's a little lighter in some respects. Um, so depending on what you're going for, this would be one you want to let us know. You know, I like the darker one. I'm looking for the lighter version of that pot. Because sometimes it's just a natural variation and we can always send you pictures to kind of let you know, you know, if you're geared toward darker or lighter for that particular color. This is a little bit of the jade that we have to offer and copper as well. Um, some of the two-tone pots, we offer that particular pot, 849. Um, in the two-tone in black, in red, and in jade. And then this is falling purple. Um, it's very pretty. You can see the specks of purple in the sunlight. Um, and we don't have a lot of purple pots, but we do offer uh, this dark purple as well as a spear to match some of the pots that are shown here. Uh, moving down here, we have a little bit of solstice blue and then moving into midnight blue, which is new for us. They look very similar. Um, so this one will be replacing some of the solstice blue later in the year, um, but it comes sometimes with a little bit of green undertones um, in this pot. This is our old Greek finish. It's a very natural finish. Um, it has texture to it, almost looks like a cantaloupe if you were to look up close. Um, and it is one of those styles where somebody's looking for an earthiness, uh, a neutral, this color does really well. And for those that can sell gold, we have gold. Not everybody sells gold pots, but um, some people do. Um, and we have um, some of our shiny gold, so to speak, in some of the pots, and some of a more muted gold. These are our Chelsea fruit colors. Um, we have mandarin orange, lemon, mint green, um, and we also consider white as part of the fruit colors. Oftentimes we'll have these in palette promotions, and the bright colors um, sell really well uh, in some of our more beachy areas or Florida, but um, some customers are getting them all over the country, and it's just a good seller for us, a basic shape um, with a bright color. We also have red and black. We don't often see those colors in palette promotions, but they too um, are available in the Chelsea line. This is some of the two-tone that I was referencing before that we have in red and we also have in black. And then we kind of move into the neutrals for Chelsea. This is matte black that's available in quite a number of pots. Um, and we also have white in Chelsea and truffle in Chelsea as well, kind of a matte brown finish. Um, and these are some of the more muted colors for Chelsea instead of the bright finishes, but are classic shapes that have done really well for us. And now we'll move into the Miranda line. For Miranda, we have white pots and we have pearl white. Um, some of the pearl white is being discontinued, but we still have a lot in stock. It's just, depending on the texture of the pot, we wanted to make sure we had, you know, it was a stable color that we could produce. So in this particular pot, it comes out well. Um, so we do have some offerings of pearl white still left, but it's limited in white and pearl white in Miranda. We have more white available in our season slot. These are our Veranda Texture Pots. They are best sellers for us for sure. Um, all around the country, we do really well with the Swanee Planter, with the Swirls, the Willow Planter, the Wild Berry Planter, um, in this Ice Blue color, um, the Aztec Blue, Misty Green, and Caribbean Sea. So we kind of uh, put these together in a lot of promotions that a lot of the distributors will notice because they do so well for us. And now we're moving on to Falling Blue and Veranda. So Chelsea has its falling blue, Veranda has its, uh, has its falling blue, and so does LeBeau. And they all look very similar. This is one of the best selling colors for us, so that's why we duplicate it in a lot of different lines. So if you're looking for a price point of Veranda, but wanting that blue that you saw in Chelsea or LeBeau, this gives you an option for that, to carry that bright blue in a better price point for you. Um, this is a new series of pots for us that we have for Veranda. Um, they just came in early in the year, pre-COVID, and we hope to get more in soon. They come in a variety of colors, and this set has done really well for us. Of all the samples um, that we brought in, we've sold out of most of them already. 
here we have some more larger veranda pieces um, in some colors that we don't carry every pot in, like cappuccino. Um, this is a unique color to veranda. It's not going to be found in every pot, but it sells really well for us in that pot. And then we have basil green, which is also part of the veranda line, and it kind of moves toward our Good Earth collection. The Good Earth collection has a little bit of texture on it. It's very similar in shape to the Laguna collection, but the pots are a little bit bigger, and you have that texture on there. And they come in the silver, the two different greens of jade and tropical green, falling blue and tropical red. Um, right here is just a little bit of a glimpse at a color we're calling iron. We have it available right now only in two pots. Uh, the 5250, which is the fishbowl, and we have it in 1646. Um, and maybe 1645, so maybe three pots we have that particular color in. It's a dark brown, but it has flecks of kind of um, a shiny brown in there too, so it has a little bit of texture. Of the showroom. Mm -hmm. This is a new color for us, firm green. We introduced it last year. Um, it comes in several different offerings in La Vogue. You'll find bright colors, big pots. Um, it's our signature brand, so you're going to find a lot of different styles in La Vogue. This is the falling blue um, that's pretty notable, consistent, um, a deep color. Looks really good. I like falling blue. So. We'll move on to some of our newer colors that we were offering. This is Blue Rain. Um, in the catalog, you'll see it as BLR. And it's offered only in a couple of pots right now. We've been kind of testing what it would look like. It's supposed to mimic what you would see in an Origins pot. Um, if you're familiar with our Origins line and Rustic Amber, it's very similar to that, but in a Lebeau finish. Um, over here, you'll see a lot of other new colors, or a couple of other new colors. Blue Agite and Paradise Green. They have a little bit of purple, a little bit of orange um, in the Blue Agite. And then as you come over here to Paradise Green, um, we have done some different samples of this color. These two are the same, but I think we're going to move forward with this particular color. So if you're ordering Paradise Green in the catalog, I think what you're going to see reflected is this one. This was one of the earlier samples. Um, here is Emerald Green, and it comes in a few different styles. It's not um, available in every Lebeau pot, but many of them do come in the Emerald Green, like the eggshell, the decor pot. Uh, these are some of the basic shapes in Lebeau. Now we're moving into Falling Aqua. Um, Falling Aqua and Falling Blue are probably the biggest sellers that we have in Lebeau. We carry almost every product that we have in Lebeau in these two colors. And Falling Aqua, you'll see there, some of our larger pots are shown, the Tuscan Tree Planter, some of the jars, uh, the Fishbowl Planter, and then even our accent pieces, most of them are either gonna be uh, Falling Blue, Falling Aqua, and some of them in GNS Green String. Um, here are more Lebeau pieces, like our best-selling, one of our best-selling pots is the decor pot. Comes in a set of four as well as a set of three, uh, so you don't always have to get the larger set if the smaller set works for you. Uh, the diamond planter, we offer it in a small diamond planter, medium diamond planter, and there is a large diamond planter as well. I don't see it, but that's okay. And then we'll move into uh, some of what we offer in red. Uh, we have a few pots that are offered in red, the decor pot, uh, the key jar, and the spear. Um, and some of our jars are also offered in red. Here's green string for Lebeau. Um, depending on the pot, if it has a texture, it may look a little bit different um, than a smooth pot. Um, some of our older Lebeau uh, green string pieces may have a darker green, but you'll notice some of them now are a little bit lighter. Um, so we carry them both because we have them both in stock, so we show them in our showroom that way. Um, but someone may have a preference, so we'd like to show you both. Here are some of the best sellers in Lebeau, uh, just shown in some of the different color offerings that we have. Um, the Decor Pot again, the 203 Hycana Pot, uh, Cold Planter. These are some of the best sellers in Lebeau. If you need a big pot for a landscaping job, display piece, or a particular project, uh, these are offered. Sometimes in palette promotions, 
uh, if it's a distributor customer, you may not see these large pots, but we do have them available. The eggshell pot comes in pretty much every color that we make in Lebeau. It is a set of four as well as a set of three. Uh, you'll find that we have it in even yellow and orange. And we'll go see some of those brighter colors. Here are some of the fountains for Lebeau. This is a new fountain for us. We make the 578 drum planter, and this is the same shape. It's just that now it's in a fountain. Uh, we have this fountain that comes in A, B, and C size. These are some of the other fountains that you, I believe you will find still in our catalog. And then we do still have some in stock. Uh, most of these will require a reservoir or some type of basin. Um, there are a few that can be put on a fountain base and we'll show you a couple of those examples. Most of the fountain bases that we carry now will have a saucer so that the fountain is sturdy and won't have a chance to topple over. Um, and it also makes it very pretty when the water just comes over the edge so you don't see any debris that might get like leaves in a bowl or something like that. This is our lobby area of the showroom. I feel like I have to introduce everybody to Marilyn Monroe. So there's our Marilyn Monroe picture. And then these are some of the brighter colors that we have in the bow. Uh, we offer yellow, and then we have some yellow and falling aqua um, together in one item. And then we also have some orange and a little bit of GRS. Uh, green speckle is not found in all of our pots, but we do have a couple of pieces that we carry uh, in green speckle. And then here's the orange from Lebeau. It's a little bit different than the orange in Chelsea, which is a brighter orange. This has more darker undertones, is a little bit more muted, uh, but we do carry it in, like I said, the eggshell planter. This is one of the Lebeau pots that I think probably comes in every color that we make. Black is a special order, but every other color. Uh, we have it. This is Silver Rock. It is similar to that old Greek finish that we saw upstairs in Chelsea. Um, it's a very textured finish, has a little bit of hints of silver, a little bit of hints of gold. Um, and we also have some of our Lebeau accent pieces thrown in here. Uh, that's the Thinking Frog, the baby and the big one. And then we also have our Standing Cats, Cat Girl, um, as well as the pig. And we walked by the elephant. I didn't point the elephant out, but it's a new accent piece for us. As we come to this area of the showroom, this is Tuscan Sun, all in a new finish that we call Atlantis Sky. We introduced it a little over a year ago, and it comes in standard pots as well as some of the larger architectural pieces that we uh, have in our chateau line. So you won't find all of the chateau pieces in the catalog, but we'd like for you to see that we do offer uh, some of these larger pieces for displays or commercial jobs if the need arises. Uh, we do have plenty of them. A lot of times we like for customers to see those in person, so if there is something you're interested in, uh, contact us and we'll get you current inventory and pictures of what we have. But this is some of what we offer in Tuscan Sun Chateau. You'll see that the variations, um, there's a lot of variation, even amongst the same color, same pot, uh, which is why we often want customers to see these pots in person um, or either share photos with you to see exactly what you're getting um, because they can be more expensive because uh, of the size of the pots, but the, um, we wanna make sure you get the right color. Here are more Tuscan Sun area, uh, more pots in our Tuscan Sun area. Um, that are a little different in color, that kind of have more green and black undertones. And then here is the hand throne for Tuscan. Um, small, some of the smaller classic pieces in Tuscan Sun. The Atlantis Sky is shown here as well as Heirloom White. We have a little bit of Heirloom Bronze as shown. This particular color, this is graphite, but these are Heirloom Bronze. It's been discontinued, but we still have some pots on hand, so we do show them in the showroom, but if it's a color that you're interested in, we would check inventory for you to make sure that we still have it. But these other classic shapes um, can be found in heirloom white as well as any inch of stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Over here, we have more Tuscan Sun hand thrown, but these pieces are what we consider the more modern collection of Tuscan Sun hand thrown. The geometric shapes here in the cylinder pieces um, are also what you will see in a lot of promotions that we have available, but they are a little bit different than the classic pieces, and they come in this earth white that looks like kind of a robin's egg blue. And then you have AZN, which is age zinc, um, it's a little bit different. So we like for people to see the variation in tone and know that that's the way they're supposed to look. Um, it just has an aged effect. We're in the Tuscan Sun planter section. Um, the hand thrown are smaller pieces, but here we have some of the graphite pieces, heirloom white pieces that are pretty much your basic shapes in Tuscan Sun, and then some of the jars that we carry. The olive jar in Tuscan Sun is a bestseller for us. We carry it in three different sizes. Um, that's an heirloom white, and then here is it in a falling aqua. That was new for Tuscan Sun. And then we have some of our bowls that we carry in Tuscan Sun as well. Um, some of the pieces in Tuscan Sun, you're gonna see some geometric shapes, and then some of them you'll see the scroll motif, which is a little bit uh, more traditional. Over here is our modern area of the showroom. We've paired a lot of LeBeau um, with black, white, and some metallics with our fiber stone. So a lot of the larger pieces that you'll see over here are available in our warehouse. Um, some of the shiny black pieces though may be custom colors. And we can order custom colors. There's usually um, an upcharge for that and we need to know, you know, by a certain date in the year in order to have that back for let's say a spring order, we would need to know in the fall. So to ensure that you got the colors that you wanted. But these are some of the same pots that we saw on the other side in LeBeau. It's just that they're also offered in white, um, what we call our black for LeBeau. It is a shiny black. Um, for instance, that's the eggshell pot and that is a custom color for shiny black and eggshell. Comes in mostly every other color except for black. Um, most of these pieces here, come in the sets that you see um, shown. They aren't like set of three and set of four, um, with the exception of like the Berber planter. That comes in a set of three as well as a set of four. But the others, as they are shown, is pretty much the set size. This gets into the matte black for LeBeau. It's very similar to the matte black in Chelsea, the gunmetal in Seasons. They all pretty much have that matte gray finish. Um, and LeBeau has several offerings in matte gray, if that's what you're looking for. Um, silver black is offered in LeBeau. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not matte black and it's not shiny black, but we do offer it in this rough rim finish um, in both of these pots. And then this particular color, BSP, uh, brown speckle, used to be offered in our twist fountain in LeBeau, but now we're starting to offer it in a lot of pots as well. So it's kind of a, a metallic, but a little bit more muted than shiny gold. And we offer it in a few different pots right now. So I'm curious to see how this sells for us. It's really beautiful in person, has a lot of different um, a depth of color when you get close in. Um, so I'm hoping that people pick up on that one. We'll move in over here to shiny gold and silver bronze. Um, they are very closely related. You'll see the silver bronze has more of a, a matte sheen to it. And then the shiny gold is exactly what it is, shiny gold. So some customers can sell gold. We have it in LeBeau and we have it in Chelsea. Um, and we even have it with this rough rim finish in a couple of different pieces. Over here, we start to get into the fiber stone area. Um, we carry fiber stone in vintage white, concrete light gray, as well as dark gray. For the most part, you're gonna find each style in every color. Uh, dark gray has some unique pieces with the bowls, as well as the Hampton urns, um, and some of the cutout square and rectangular shapes. Those are gonna be unique to dark gray, but everything else, the trough, the cube, some of the basic shapes that you usually see in a fiber stone line, we do carry those. We have some dark brown in limited quantities, um, but dark brown has proved not to sell as well as the light gray or the dark gray. So if you're interested in dark brown, that's something we'd have to check quantities on for you. 
Um, but we need to be mindful of uh, fiberstone not being outside in extreme conditions. It does not stand up in extreme heat or extreme cold like the ceramic pottery would. Uh, we also carry spears in fiberstone. That's one of the accent pieces, if you will. And we even have some benches, planter benches. We have a few of those in fiberstone as well, uh, available in the light gray. And usually these products are kept in stock here in Atlanta as well. Um, so we have them available just like we have any of the other lines. So we hope that you'll be able to look through this video and then just pause where you need to take some notes, if you will. If you have questions, call us, email us. Um, but we wanted to kind of do a slow walk through the showroom for those that have not visited or haven't been here in a while. Um, and hopefully this helps you and, um, you know, place your order for this season that none of us expected to be virtual. So if you have any other questions, you know, feel free to call our office at 678-518-8471. Thank you.